All right, so I just wanna make this quick video because I'm sure this is gonna be a question on a lot of people's minds pertaining with ATSE 3.0 and DRM with the current AWS outage. Now, this TV that I bought a couple months ago, um, I have been planning for a while to make an actual dedicated high quality review of this TV and I'm in the middle of doing it, but because of all of this AWS outage stuff, I just wanted to make this quick video that will serve as some information in the meantime. First off, I do not connect this TV to the internet. I don't connect any of my TVs to the internet. And ATSE 3.0 functionality, even with DRM, works perfectly fine. And again, this is an Amazon Fire TV, and there is currently an Amazon AWS outage. And that doesn't matter to me. I don't care because I don't even connect this TV to the internet. And this TV has built-in, baked-in keys for the ATSC 3.0 channels. So in the Buffalo region, WGRZ is encrypted with A3SA DRM, WIVB is encrypted with A3SA DRM, and WKBW is as well. If I tap into this, in fact, it already brought it up. As you can see, this is the next-gen TV Dolby Vision channel. And just like that, it is currently playing right now perfectly fine without an internet connection. Let me get out of this channel. I will go to WIVB here and we'll just wait a couple seconds. They're using route dash and some configuration settings that make channel scanning or channel tuning very slow, excuse me. Um, and this is again working here perfectly fine as you can see without an internet connection. And the other channel here, WKBW, is working perfectly fine as well. This is real time. I'm not editing anything. Boom. There we go. Just like that. It is now working perfectly fine, as you can see. So again, I do not have this connected to the internet. Just to even verify for you that I don't connect any of my TVs to the internet, um, I'm going to go to network, and I'm going to go like this so that you don't see my Wi-Fi SSIDs. As you can see, it says network disconnected. I do not have this connected to the internet. And anybody that has a Fire TV would know that I don't have it connected to the internet right now because there's not a bazillion ads showing right now on the TV. So ATSE 3.0, full ATSE 3.0 functionality works perfectly fine on this TV without an internet connection. In fact, I see so many comments in my YouTube channel comment section on various videos talking about how ATSE 3.0 channels with DRM don't work without an internet connection. Let me remind you that things like this, like Blu-rays and DVDs, have DRM on them. And I'm able to watch this 4K UHD of Star Wars that has DRM without an internet connection. The same thing applies with over-the-air TV. So just because something has DRM doesn't mean it needs internet. Um, and as you can see here, it works perfectly fine. So anyway, I'll leave it on a, an ATSC 3.0 channel that's encrypted right now. Um, let me know how your stations are. They should be perfectly fine where you are, um, as long as the broadcaster is implementing everything okay. And of course, I just want to remind people that the FCC does indeed require uh, that channels be accessible without an internet connection. So I just want to reassure everybody that yes, this is working perfectly fine right now. No internet connection at all on this TV. And as you can see, my super encrypted next-gen TV channel here in Dolby Vision is working perfectly fine. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you guys out a lot and makes you a little bit more at peace with the situation. And I will see you in the next video.